Hey guys, Kid you're here for the Tech World, and I have another video tutorial for you guys on Sony Vegas. Now, I haven't touched up on Sony Vegas for a while now, so I thought I should do a tutorial and start getting back into some of these series of videos. So, uh, today I wanted to touch up on explosions, um, and, you know, bang effects, uh, flash effects, anything like that. Just how to key out those explosions and add them to your videos, you know, for action, for whatever reasons. If you guys saw my HP Magic, or HP uh, Me on Me video where I did the explosion with my hands. It's really, really easy, and I just wanted to teach you guys because some people were asking in the comments. And just a cool way to uh, mess around. You know, this doesn't go for only uh, explosions. It can be really any effect that can be singled out singled out using this chroma key effect. And I know you're thinking chroma key, it doesn't require a green screen. It just requires uh, some of these effects that I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you links to free stock footage that you can download of explosions and stuff like that to add to your videos. Give it a little bit more bang. So yeah, so um, all right. So first off, we're gonna import the media here. Um, I got an explosion that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go import media, and uh, it is located in my uh, downloads folder. So I'm just gonna go to my folder here, go to downloads, and go to Airburst, the MOV file. And actually, let me. I should actually pull over my. Oh, never mind. I'll get it later. Sorry, I have a lot of files I have here to download. So where'd it go? Right here. Double click on the Airburst file and let it load in. And this one's from Detonation Films. If you guys have ever heard of them, they have a lot of cool uh, filming techniques. So here you have Detonation Films. And if you want to go frame by frame, right there is where the explosion kind of starts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out that little watermark because, you know, obviously you don't want show that showing up. So now you only have the explosion. I'm going to play it once for you guys. As you so probably saw that, that probably lagged a little bit. Sorry, let me shrink that down so it plays a little bit better for you guys so you saw there the explosion it kind of has that smoke so what you want to do um, first off and you see that explosion is kind of on a blue background so you want to kind of key that out so it doesn't show so you want to go to video effects go to chroma keyer and you select any chroma key, chroma keyer and just like green and then put it down now what you're gonna see here is that kind of it's gonna kind of single out colors and I accidentally dragged it out here sorry let me drag it back in let me put, all right, so, okay, now what you're going to do is hit the eyedropper tool and click on the dominant color in the background, the one you're going to really single out. As you see there, it turned black. Now, something I like show, doing um, is showing the mask only. It really helps uh, with me anyway with uh, when I'm chroma king. And basically, the purpose of this is you just want to get that object that you're kind of blowing up to be kind of uh, to be white. What I mean by that is when you want to mesh it under the threshold level, so... Now we're going to go down here, and we're going to kind of, you want to single out that one color. So you want to get it, see right there where everything's black, you kind of want it really like that. Everything else to be black while your main subject is white, obviously. So I'm going to kind of get that there, try and get the perfect level. And you might want to add some blur to make it look, look a little bit more realistic, and get out the extra color. I'm going to move in a little bit more in the video. See, as you see there, the mask, it really sticks out, that explosion. All right, so now I am going to go back to that gear. Let me just right-click it and go to Video Effects. All right, so now I'm going to disable the mask because I already got my thing edited out. And bam, it's on a black background. Now, um, obviously, this can be dropped into anything. As you see there, the explosion. You're going to want to mess around to get the colors right because you see there you don't obviously want the smoke being totally gray or maybe you do you know it depends on how you want your video but as you see there for the most part for the explosion part if I go back just a couple frames in see right there you see that gray you might want to mess around with the king there and right here I mean other than that the explosion looks really nice maybe you had added a little bit too much blur but you can most for the most part drop this explosion in to uh, another uh, what do you call that like a clip uh, for example like a clip of you or whatever you want to add it to and then drop this in and then key out that background color and then in the back obviously instead of being black it would be your video so the exp explosion would be kind of masking or layering over it so it's really cool I mean it's really uh, you know there's a lot of other effects you can mess around with you can add some chroma blur like again to make it look more realistic and to kind of soften those edges um, I also like doing you know you can mess around with the color the brightness a lot of stuff you can get really creative with all this stuff and you can do a whole bunch of other film effects and Gaussian blurs, those type of blurs help as well. All right, now, where can you get a lot of these? Um, there's a really good link that I found from Detonation Films, which I'm gonna drag over from my Firefox here. 
just check out all the stock footage they have from you know bangs and missile streak missile streaks roman candles bullet hits so this is for your bullet videos this one's black smoke and this one they actually filmed uh, on a green screen so it's really going to be easy to use kind of use that smoke and look these are really hd type quality videos so the effects look amazing and going down here they have filthy type fire and this is the one i use i believe they have some more smoke for your videos air bursts uh, i actually used an air burst that's the one i used right there uh more air bursts and they even have some guides on how to do some uh <clears throat> some uh framing you know when you're framing your video they have some more fire bursts which look really cool as well and even fireballs so they have amazing footage a lot of stock footage and even debris so there's a lot of cool stuff you can get here for free you just download it from detonation films and again hd quality drag it in and you just gotta key it out again mess around really mess around with that colors make sure you get that right uh you know that threshold just so it matches perfectly everything looks realistic again mess around with the blur add some other effects to top it off and you got yourself an explosion and this can work for a lot of the effects, like I said. So uh, take this uh, technique into many other things, and I uh, hope it helps you out, guys. Uh, look forward to more videos, more tutorials, stuff like that. Don't forget to check out the website, adrianstech.com. Any questions, concerns, email me at adrianstech at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.